Welcome back for another Q&T price prediction analysis and in this video I will be giving you reasons why Q&T needs to continue holding above our significant area of support at around the $100 mark and if that plays out then we can see a break above our next key area of resistance at around the $110.9 mark. I also want to give you reasons why I believe that there are high chances that we now have a low in place here on the QNT chart and we can continue expecting higher prices. And starting my analysis on the daily chart, you can easily see that back in 2020, we saw those lows at around the $100 mark before the market gave us an all-time high above the $429 mark which was a perfect 4x to the upper side and after seeing the all-time high we started a bear market where we had been seeing lower prices in this ABC corrective move giving us a bear market low at around the $40.1 mark and after seeing the bear market low we continued to obey the ADO12 structures where you can now see that we picked in a 5 wave move having the wave 5 giving us a high above the $229 mark, completing the formation of these wave 1 to the upper side. And after seeing the formation of that first wave, we started a corrective structure in the formation of these wave 2 into the minimum target areas highlighted on the chart using this red target area. An area that I came up with using the Fibonacci's connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one, giving me a minimum target area between the $134.2 mark and the $79.7 .7 mark, which is an area that you have now fully maximized, giving us a low at around the $84.5 mark. And there are high chances that this is the low for the second wave. And in the next coming days, or maybe weeks we can continue getting impulsive in the formation of these wave 3 to the upper side and giving you minimum target areas for the third wave by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave I get a minimum target area for the third wave at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the $386 mark as a minimum target area. And that is what I'm expecting in the next bull market here on the QNT chart. And now zooming in to the 4-hour chart to give you the short-term price action to expect in the next coming hours. Here on the charts, we are facing a significant area of resistance at around the $110.9 mark. And in case we continue seeing that bullish momentum, see a break above resistance with a retest, then we can easily see QNT get above the $120 mark in the next coming hours. And in case that doesn't play out and we continue seeing a bit of a pullback, then we need to continue holding above the $100 mark or maybe get support there, then get another bounce back. And in case we lose the $100 mark, which is a significant area of support, then we can expect further pullback to the $97.3 mark, where we can get support and then get another massive bounce back to the upper side. And using the Fibonacci also, we can get areas that we need to keep our eyes on by connecting the Fibs from the low at around the $84.5 mark, to that high at around the $108.3 mark, giving me an area between the FIB level 0 0.382 and the FIB level 0 0.618, and that is between the $99.3 mark and the $93.7 mark, which is an area, in case we see a pullback, we need to continue holding for us to continue expecting higher prices. And a break, to the lower side of this blue target area then that will be suggesting a reset of the low that you made at around the 84.5 mark so that is what i'm keeping my eyes on here on the qnt chart on the short term and also on the long term and i hope that video was of much help to you and if it was give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel 
and also check out the channel membership.